Throughout the nation, we are experiencing economic trouble. However, here in Florida, our schools are taking an even harder hit. Florida is already 50th in the nation for funding education, and by cutting money from schools, legislators are leaving both our students, schools, and teachers behind. These children are the future of our nation, but do they really have bright futures in Florida? Throughout the state, schools are taking cuts to sports, arts, music, libraries, and they're even cutting teachers. Hundreds, if not thousands, of people gathered outside in Clay County protesting these cuts. Parents, teachers, and students alike rallied together to show their support against the cutbacks, signing petitions and speaking their mind. How do the budget cuts affect you personally as a teacher and a mother? Well, first off, as a mother, if they end up cutting the sports, it's going to affect my daughter greatly. She's in place three sports. And the coaches and athletes are more than just another teacher. They're meant to those students. And there are students that need that extra adult in their life to lead them on the path that they need. As a teacher of the cuts, when I went through my tax return and added up my receipts this year, I've spent almost $1,500 in my own classroom. who this would also affect. One's in third grade and one's in ninth grade and they may not be they may not have the opportunity to have the sports and the extra activities that are how are the budget cuts affecting you personally? They're affecting me personally because um, it's looking like I'm gonna have to take a pay cut next year of three percent. Also we're losing a lot of school personnel and are we're probably gonna have um, overloaded classes next year which is not good for the students and it's also not good for the teachers. Having no substitutes. This is educationally wrong that we are not having substitutes for our children. Well, I'm one of the 270 teachers that's been on the first round of class. Well, I'm looking at graduating in the next um, month and looking at a possibility of being out without a job for the next um, year, possibly two years. So I would have to then work out. How do the budget cuts affect you guys? Us junior high. schools students are worried about their futures, their education, and how these budget cuts will affect them. And the staff is worried about their jobs, their futures, and the future of their students as well. Last year a class size amendment was passed limiting the number of students in a classroom. By cutting teachers this amendment will be forgotten along with the individual attention that many students need. Uh, pretty much the only opportunity I'll have is if I work really hard to get bright futures because they, they already had to put my brother through college so I mean, I've been working so hard to get these grades and to keep them up, and plus I already have sports and stuff, so it's really hard to keep the grades up. And so if you cut that, then it's pretty much like I'll work, I'll work so hard for nothing. And then my parents I don't know why they would make the education harder for our generation to achieve or our class because we are the future. So students from out of state are better versed in the SAT and the ACT than students from Florida who are mainly versed in the FCAT. It just it seems like. Um, there is a solution that would be a much, you know, a better, more sensible one, and that's doing away with the FCAT. Um, whatever happened to the SAT? Whatever happened to the ACT? Why are those tests not acceptable for um, holding students accountable for achievement? Um, colleges accept them. And so just for me, it seems like the, the best solution to solve or at least help with the financial crisis in the state of Florida is to do away with this test. Your tests. thoughts on the school cutbacks for next year? Um, I think it's going to be difficult, uh, especially for students. Um, if they want to cut sports, it's going to make it, I think it's a big disadvantage to those students who want to go to college to play sports. Uh, I think it's also going to hurt colleges um, because of all the availability for talent that comes out of the state of Florida. Uh, then there's going to be more problems than they realize, uh, such as kids getting in trouble. I mean, 
if you have from two to seven, I remember when I was a kid, I'm going to find something to do, and it's probably not going to be the right thing. So, um, tendency maybe the crime rate to go up. Um, I hate to say the pregnancy rate may go up. Um, there, there's going to be a lot of things that go on that um, wouldn't go on if the kids had something to do from two to seven every day. Well, I'm personally involved because I'm in the DROP program and I'm coming to the end of my fifth year, which means that I've been told that I cannot extend and that I will have to leave my time. What concerns me most about the budget cuts that Clay County is proposing is the possibility of the cutting of the performing arts. These kind of activities teach grace, poise, life skills, and a well-roundedness that can't be learned in a regular uh, academic classroom. And I think it would be a shame if our students were to miss out on this opportunity. One more reason for um, not making these drastic budget cuts is that it cuts down quality education when Florida is already 48th in the nation um, with achievement tests. And, um, you know, if a student, say, makes a level five on the FCAT, it generally averages out to probably about a, between a five and an 800 on the SAT, when in fact you need to make an, a thousand just to even be looked at. How will the cuts to the sports department affect you? Um, the cut of sports will affect me because I'm relying on sports a lot to help get me into college because I play almost every sport, so I'm really hoping on a scholarship. If they do do the budget cuts, that they might cut my favorite sport, which is golf, at the school, and I've been doing it for the past three years. So if it's not there, I won't be able to have it, and it's really important to me, and it's meant more than anything in the world to me, and I've made great relationships with my friends because of it, and it just, I don't think life would be the same without it. I believe the budget cuts aren't really fair for teachers because they can lose their job, so I mean, losing your job isn't really fun, especially since it's really hard to get a new job now with our economy. And it's not really fair for the students because they'll have more kids in the classroom, so they won't have as much time with the teacher. If the teachers to... that are being forced to retire with their job program. But a lot of them are, are veteran teachers who truly have the passion for teaching and the reason they went into the drop program is because they weren't ready to retire. They love what they do and it shows in how they do it and it's going to be difficult to replace those kind of teachers if we have the opportunity even to replace them. All over Clay County you're going to have hundreds and hundreds of years of experience walking out the door because of this. If they did away with the coaching supplements, um, there, there's a couple of different opinions. Uh, you know, obviously we don't do this for the money. We don't get paid enough money to worry about that. But at the same time, if we went out there and coached for nothing, then the county could make the the assumption that, well, maybe we don't need to pay coaches because they're going to go ahead and do it anyway. So there's kind of a two-way street there. Um, so. I will have to be out for 30 days and then I have the opportunity to reapply as a beginning teacher. I'm going to continue to work, uh, no matter if they pay me or not. Um, I enjoy coaching, I enjoy doing what I do, so um, it really doesn't pay, pay isn't always everything. With the nationwide recession, Florida legislators are looking for ways to save money. What they don't realize is that by cutting school budgets, they are ultimately hurting the future of our nation. The children of this era will need the best education possible to turn around this country's economy. After all, children are the future. This is a call to action. Contact your legislators today.